Hi, Hi everybody, it's us, the Wine, wine ladies. ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and welcome everyone to the Wine Ladies. We're on location at the beautiful Angus Glen Golf Course here for the Anne Murray uh, Charity Golf Classic. It's second year running in support of Colon Cancer Canada. We are sitting here at the Angus Glen um, Anne Murray Charity uh, Golf Classic. And Anne Murray is sitting with us. So uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about why you're having the tournament for this cause. This was kind of near and dear to me because I had, uh, I have a family history of colon cancer. Your mom, I think it was? No, my grandmother. Your grandmother. My okay. grandmother was mm -hmm. actually a colon cancer survivor. Okay. And uh, in the 60s. Wow. And um, yes, and lived to, uh, to be well in her 80s. Um, which is one of my messages to people to get tested. But yes. anyway, I also had my manager of 25 years, Leonard Rambo, right. uh, died of colon cancer at mm -hmm. a very young age, and it's unnecessary. No, it's just a simple test, isn't it? I know very people don't simple. like to think about that test, yeah. but if you just take it, the chances of survival increase, I don't know, like 90%. 90%. Yes, 90%. That's right. So that's what I'm trying to do with the help of Jan Arden and Tom Cochran here today. Yes. And, and Brian Williams and uh, now, are you Darryl all going to be golfing together, or have uh, they no, divided no, no. you all up? No, they've divided us up. <laughs> Share the wealth, if you will. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. I'm playing with Pentax, who is our uh, sponsor. The camera folks. Yeah, they're uh, they're uh, uh, actually the big sponsors of this tournament. Wonderful. Uh, they've been very generous with us, so I'm playing with them. That's awesome. Yeah. And actually, um, and I am actually wearing something here. It's a pendant. Oh, and yeah, it's called it's a beautiful. Harmony Phi Pendant. Um, it's made by uh, Fortune's Fine Jewelers in Toronto. Yes. And when I told Michael DaCosta that we were going to be here, and I told when I was telling him what the cause was for, he was very sympathetic to the cause. And he we said, have one for you, too, for oh, the silent auction. Oh, my goodness. This is the Harmony Phi pendant that I was talking oh, about. Beautiful. And, and, and it's based on the elements of the earth and about um, being at peace with the people, with community, and with the natural environment. And oh, I thought lovely. it would be, I, it, I feel really good when I wear it. And I think it's going to be the next hot item. <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully we'll get some, some great cash Someone for will bid on that. There support. You go. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. All right. Well, we are now sitting here with Jan Arden, eight time Juno Award winner, songwriter of the year, female artist of the year. This woman is incredible. And she's funny to, to boot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just having the one glass of wine today. <laughs> We can overtake Miss Murray. And well, what's her... going to be on your refreshment cart? You have any idea? You know, I I think I like a nice refreshing, a, 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 a lovely Pinot Grigio would be good around mm. the third hole, and then you could switch it up with, a, you know, maybe a little sweeter that go with a Gewurztraminer or a Riesling, heading into the uh, the okay. halfway point, and then I would just I would just go with. Uh, Uzo after that. Uzo. <laughs> sounds like a plan. That sounds horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not going to argue with Jan Arden, right? Definitely not. You guys look fantastic. Thank oh, well, you. Well, I mean, you, you just, you. it's early. What is it, 5 a.m.? I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> well, thank you, Jan, so much for taking the time to sit down and chat with us and enjoy your game today. It's going to be I a hot will. one. I'm glad that this is winding up because the underwires in my brassiere are burning them off. <laughs> That's how hot it is out here. It is pretty warm. And Let's Anne Marie, be careful. Let's go put some this red wine. Yeah, Anne Marie, you look out. <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> She's coming to get you. <laughs> All Thanks, right. Jen. Thank you so much, Jan. Thank you. Okay. Daryl Sittler is here joining here. us here Thanks, today. Sir. Yeah. It's good to be here. Beautiful day, and uh, we're going to raise some money for colon cancer. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And you've brought some little teddy bears we see here today. Yeah, this what? is the Wendy bear. Uh, my wife, Wendy, died of colon cancer uh, about eight and a half years ago, and in her memory, we uh, this is the fifth version of the Wendy bear. We keep selling out and uh, coming up with a new one, but the, the, the money, it costs you 20 bucks, but the money that uh, is raised through these goes to uh, families who have a family member that uh, is sick and uh, and wants to die at home, but can't afford the expenses that comes with uh, the expenses of, of going through the last final times at home. So this is a, a project that we started, and it's a memory of Wendy, and it's yeah. And how does one get one of these? Probably go to coloncancercanada.ca. I think mm -hmm. it's on there, and mm -hmm. uh, you can get them. But today. Uh, you're We're selling, selling them. them. Here and I'm signing. I signed the pie. You know, it's nice and oh, how wonderful. Fuzzy. So if, uh, they have extra signed ones too. So I'm sure if somebody wants to go online, uh, they'll take good care of them. That'd be great. ColonCancerCanada.ca. If you want to pick yourself up a beautiful Wendy bear, they're so plush and so soft. 
And they're only $20 and all for a great cause. And make sure you get your screening done. You got that right. 90% increase in survival. That's right. We've got with us here Tom Cochran, one of the most decorated Canadian musicians. And uh, he's a Juno Award winner. He's got the Order of Canada. He's, he's won all kinds of things. But we know that you're also quite the humanitarian, Tom. But we're doing a little bit of research. And wow, like you've been to, with World Vision, you've done a lot mm -hmm. of work with them. You've been to Africa a number, seven times. Is that yep. right? Tell us a little bit about some Seven of that kind eight, of work that you eight, do. Well, we've been to Asia as well. Mm -hmm. um, just, you know, it, it's basically, uh, um, you know, I go over, I mean, the work, I've done a lot of galas for them and, and uh, a bit of speaking for them and this and that, but uh, they're just a wonderful organization and there's some other great ones out there as well. You know, I support War Child. I think yeah. uh, Samantha and her husband have done a wonderful job there and, um, you know, Free the Children. Mm -hmm. Uh, Craig Kyleberger's organization, but World Vision is the organization I probably spent the most time with, right. and so I'm intimate with with the kind of work they do. And uh, they they are primarily a sponsor organization. They sponsor children. How about Absolutely. wine and music? Or do you find well, yeah, there's I've any association that. with that? I've explored that connection <laughs> thoroughly. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom, for yeah. stopping by. Okay, so now we are sitting here with uh, Brian Williams, a CTV sportscaster, one of the best sportscasters out there, I would say. And Brian, you did a fabulous job at the 2010 Olympics. I think we won some gold medals because of you. You made uh, us proud. Well, uh, George and Suzanne, I don't know about that, but remember, Canada is the only country to have hosted Olympics twice. Montreal and Calgary never yep. won a gold medal, so it was a big deal to win that first. That's but to true. win 14, which is the most gold medals by any country, in Winter Olympics history was uh, was special. The Olympics were great, but they were great for one reason, the Canadian athletes. Uh, yeah. They're the ones that did us proud. You were awesome. saying that you went to university with, um with Anne? No, no. I went to university at Aquinas College in Michigan oh, okay. in the 60s. I'm the only Canadian. They used to say, call me Canuck, and I'd say, hang on. <laughs> Hear that record, Snowbird? That's sung by a Canadian, and oh, it's yes. the number one record. But I first really met Anne when the Blue Jays began playing in the, in the 70s. She sang the national anthem, the opening game in the snow against the Chicago White Sox. It was delayed probably for 30, 35 minutes, and I stood in the dugout. I was hosting for CBC Local yes. and uh, talked to Anne and was amazed how she sung with the delay from the speakers with such class and a great story Anne is one of eight icons selected to bring the Olympic flag into BC Place Stadium on Friday night February 12th yeah. friends of uh, my wife and mine were flying out on the plane and they saw Anne okay. and they said oh. I bet you're going to be part of the Olympics she said no no because they weren't allowed to they say weren't allowed it. they were yeah. sworn to secrecy oh, so Anne right. says no I'm going to a friend's funeral Oh. So our friends feel terrible and say, oh, please, our thoughts are with you. They see her eight days later. She says, I'm sorry. I, I had, had to, to tell a fib. <laughs> <laughs> and Georgia, don't forget, we have to thank uh, Michael DaCosta of uh, Fortune's Fine Jewelry on Avenue Road here in Toronto for providing all this fabulous jewelry that we're wearing today to meet these wonderful celebrities. My beautiful black diamond and white diamond necklace. I have to say you look ravishing darling. <laughs> <laughs> thank you Michael. I just And look at this ring. Incredible. Yeah. Thank you Michael. He's an uh, award winning designer. Has incredible one of a kind pieces. Michael DaCosta is amazing. And you know I also want to thank um, Silkenberg for the uh, wardrobe that they provided for us today. Thank you so much with two stores. One in Oakville and one in Niagara. Gina and Deborah, thanks for helping us out on that as well. We're so fortunate to have Anne Murray working with us. She really is, uh, she's an absolute professional and she really has brought so much uh, with her class and her style to the tournament and brought really great supporters for us and she's really helped elevate our tournament quite a bit which is really nice to have her on board and she's a great golfer so, uh, so she brings good golfing with her as well. How much do you expect to raise today? Well, we're hoping at uh, at least to be over, you know, 100, 120, 130,000. Hopefully, um, last year we were over 100,000, so we're hoping this year to be uh, to be even better. And I think on a day like this, I think uh, we're starting out strong. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get there. Well, we want to thank you, ladies, so much for joining us here today, and uh, we hope that it's a very successful day and you raise lots and lots of money for this incredible cause. Thank you well, thank so you. much. Thank you for being here yeah, as well. Thank you. Okay, so thanks for watching everybody here at Angus Glen and Markham. We know they raised a lot of money for colon cancer.